Collector here with another video. Uh, today we got the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K Remastered in um, Steelbook. It's the Turban Steel Collection. Also, um, I've got a bunch of stuff in the mail that I wanted to go through. Just a um, random um, hand pick of uh, movies that I've received. There's hundreds of them that are still coming and hundreds that I, I still have that um, I haven't unboxed or spoken about. So um, I j this is just a random um, pick of movies that um, there's no specific order or liking. I just randomly picked out a bunch. But anyways, um, yeah, we've got a um, guest on the channel, um, Mr. Thomas Salvetti. Hey guys, I'm happy to be on the channel finally. Yeah, um, so this will be an interesting little segment. Anyways, um, before we get into this unboxing of the um, Steel Book, um, we'll be talking about these movies first, so I'll just set that aside. Anyways, um, first here we got um, the collector's edition of Bad Taste. What do you think of this movie, Thomas? Man, I love this. I remember watching it like four years ago for the first time and just being blown away. Like, it's got such a low budget, but just the, um, I don't know, the nature of the film. It's just so, like, it feels light-hearted, but dark. And Very it, cheesy. Yeah. yeah. And how much was? would you say the budget was? I, th I remember we looked it up. It was, like, close to 3000 yeah, so that's an extremely low budget, I thought. It's just a good effort to make a movie and on that budget. What, do you, would you say that's what makes the movie? Yeah, I mean, it gives it this special feel to it, and like yeah. he, then like he goes on to do Dead Alive, and and that was brilliant. Yeah, um, excellent. I don't know about you, but I found this movie hilarious. Yeah, it's great. I love Classic. it. Classic. Anyways, that's a good one to have in the collection. I've also got a lenticular slip sleeve uh, limited edition of that coming soon. So, yeah, that'll be in a future video, maybe. I don't know. Um, but anyways, next we got Army of Darkness, which was actually a lot more harder to get than um, movies like Bad Taste. Yeah, you think. Bad taste would be harder to find yeah, this, but this is nowhere in Australia. So this came as a surprise to me. It was extremely hard to find, and I thought, like, you can't even get it in DVD, so I, I like, it shocked me when I finally mm -hmm. found the single copy that I could get, find over the whole internet in Region B for this movie, which I've always wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm surprised big, it's M as well. Yeah, that is a big surprise. I mean, the other ones are R and what, MA? I think they might be both yeah. R, actually. Yeah, the Evil Dead's are pretty notorious for their gore. I, th I think number two might be MA. Yeah. 15 plus and then this, the first one's um, Would you say number two is funnier or Army of Darkness? Uh, honestly, I think Army of Darkness mm. is funnier. That I, scene where they're in the little tower that yeah. and those, the little Bruce Campbell yeah, attacking yeah, him, that's yeah. hilarious. Those little mini um, mini people when he says that fee fi fo song. Mm. Yeah, I thought that was hilarious. But yeah, um, anyways, really glad to have that in my collection now. Next we have the Midnight Meat yes, Chain. Yes, love this. I remember... Seeing this in year seven in Steelbook, and I always regretted not buying it. I couldn't anyway because I wasn't eighteen. I was like, what was I, thirteen, twelve? Yeah, that's a shame. But yeah. it doesn't matter. We've got it. We've got it here now. Um, it's just a standard Blu-ray, but still, this was extremely rare to get. I mean, yeah, it's good find, man. Yeah. Um, I don't know why that's out of print. It's not that old of a movie, yeah. but who knows? I remember um, watching this and being gutted at the supernatural theme at the end because I, if I. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I remember Bradley Cooper is the FBI searching for this Midnight Meat Train dude, and he ends up, by the end of it, becoming the Midnight Meat Train, and I don't know, I wasn't a fan of that. Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I haven't seen all of this movie, but um, I mm. think... Uh, oh, I, sorry for spoiling it for No, you. that's fine. Um, I, 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 it's just, it's not one that was, um, mm. so, so had such an interesting story at all, but it's just, it yeah. was one that was very rare, and um, th that's what... Yeah, it's still a great find, and it'll be, it, that will be become a cult classic. Yeah, so I will be watching that soon. Anyways, next up, we have Wrong Turn 6, The Last Resort, which up until about, I'd say, a week ago, I didn't even know this was out. I, mm. I, I only thought it went up to number it, five. Yeah, it, it goes under your radar, number six. I don't know why, I think this... I don't know for sure, but I think this has the lower budget because you can really tell the budget restraints through just the um, how it was shot and the lighting. Yeah, I mean, and the I acting. The acting's always terrible. I mean, the first one, the acting was all right. The second one, it was it was pretty it's good. It's a slow still, decline. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so mm. And the second, like as they go on as well, it's just like the characters are terrible. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a fan of them. But um, although we watched number four the other day and. Like, obviously the acting wasn't the best, but the prequel, the idea of it being, finding out about these, uh, like, cannibals' past, we really liked. Yeah. Well, I did. There was an interesting concept, I thought, as well. Like, um, so that's that mm -hmm. there. And, um, yeah, I just, I thought, like, it, it, was, a, it was a bit better than, I'd say, the, the movies that surround it. Yeah. Number three, I really disliked. I didn't like the idea with the prisoners and stuff in the forest. I thought it was mm -hmm. just... Although, these movies might be inconsistent, 
But the one thing you got to applaud it for is its practical effects. It is. It is. It does look the pretty lower good. budget, and they still manage to pull off realistic looking gore. It's just amazing what they can do. Yeah. Credit to the special effects. Anyways, moving on. Oh, and by the way, before we move on, uh, I've got a. Um, I've got the Blu-ray copy of One to Five coming soon, so we might be that might be included in the future. Who knows? But, anyways, moving on, we've got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre two-pack double feature. It comes with the beginning and biggest and, um, fan. Yeah, big fans of this um this series. Yeah, I don't know why it got. I felt like it slipped under the radar. I don't know, not slipped on. It's just it doesn't get the credit it deserves. The one with Jessica Biel. It is excellent. Fantastic, yeah, it, is it is so good. The depiction of Leatherface in this, I think it's the best he's ever looked. I agree with you there. I, I, th- yeah. I was thoroughly impressed with that movie. Watching these again, it's got me so excited and I'm so happy that they're doing another yeah, Le- uh, yeah. Leatherface movie and to find out that he's being portrayed 60 years older and it's a, like it's a sequel to the original yeah like what real, they did with the new halloween real keen for that oh yeah. so excited yeah well that is a double pack it also comes with a new beginning which also i thought wasn't too bad either. yeah that was cool that was cool what they did with his mask the um it yeah. looked kind of a bit like a hannibal lecter type of chin mask i don't know it was a cool prequel story but yeah Anyways, um, and I, I think you were telling me how you can stay in the um, actual... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a thing where it was shot, the original, where you can stay in a night... Um, it's like a, what, like, so like a Airbnb sort of thing? Yeah, but more of like a, like a, what's it called? A theme park type of yeah, amusement yeah, ride. You yeah. stay there the night, which would be pretty terrifying. All oh, right. So yeah, it's like a tour group yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. that'd be cool. I think I'd pay money to, yeah. to do that. Yeah, 100%. Anyways, next we have Hot de no, no, High Tension. <laughs> um, I think this is a French film. It's dubbed in English, though. Um, yeah, it's a f- yeah, French. Yeah. This movie is the most underrated of the recent horror very, movies. Very, very underrated. I mean, it's been about six years since I've watched this, I think. Mm. But you recently revisited yeah, this, didn't you? Yeah, because I've recently... I just bought this in the same cover as that. It's not a bad find. This, yeah, oh, it's awesome. It's got and a nice slip cover. Everything yeah. about this it, and the twist ending that I don't want to give it away... Because if your viewers haven't seen it, but um, oh, it's just an awesome twist at the end. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, and some like some, when I first watched this, that first scene into it shocked me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to give it away, but it involves a decapitated head and foreplay. <laughs> yes. No, but um, Felicia. Yeah, to be precise, but um, anyways, yeah. So that that uh, uh, for what mm. it cost, I think it was about yeah, 10 it's a bucks. really good buy, very very good buy, and I do love this movie, and I would recommend it to anybody. I would as any well. horror fan. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, next up we have the number twenty three, a Jim Carrey film, one of his um rare serious ones. I haven't seen this in ages. Not neither have I, but from what I remember, it was pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, and I love Jim Carrey in a drama drama war. I know he's known yeah. for his comedy, like he's so funny, and um, big fan of yeah. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Him in a drama role is just always excellent. Like the endless, the spotless of a the eternal sunshine of the spotless That's mind. Not. Yeah, I, that was that was a classic. Yeah, I thought. and then in Truman Show, oh, he's just the best guy. And I thought that it was an interesting take on like psychological sort of warfare with this one, like mm. going insane, losing your mind. I thought Jim Carrey sort of nailed that that tension, that yeah, feeling. Agreed. The atmosphere in it was very accurate mm. to how he was actually feeling, and I thought. That was a good one, which this is also, I think, out of print. Yeah, it's a good one to have in your collection because this is yeah. a type of movie that will be, might be forgotten, but you can just like pull yeah. it out of the dust and yeah. like, it's a classic. Blow that dust off and, and yeah. you've got some memories there. But yeah, anyways, that's, um, I'm pretty sure out of print, so if you um, ever see that, I do think you should pick it up. Um, next, we got Creepshow 2, an Arrow, um, an Arrow video. This is the first time I've ever seen an Arrow release in real life. I always see them in YouTube and people yeah. unboxing them. It's the first time seeing them. Yeah, so I've got a few of them now, but not many. But I just started really collecting Arrow videos. But um, it's more because um, it's just like it's easier to get from Arrow video mm. rather than hunting down. And yeah, they, they pull out all these old released films and put it into Blu-ray. And it's, um, yeah, yeah, I love what they're doing with horror. Yeah, and what Scream and Shout Factory... Do like they do all their collection, their collector's editions, and I really love like what they do. The artwork looks fantastic, but yeah, the clear Blu ray, yeah. But um, it's just like they don't deliver to Australia, which is awful. Like, I, I went on there, I made an yeah. account, I went to buy some things, yeah, they didn't what deliver the to it. says they didn't, they wouldn't deliver it to me, so I was very disappointed. Australia miss out on a lot, they do. Of we get a media. large, a vast chunk of stuff that we that just doesn't make it to yeah. Australia. 
But anyways, um, I'm not sure who the, who directed this, but I know the first one, which is coming soon in the mail, uh, another Arrow um, release as well. It's um, directed by George A. Romero, and um, there's some collaboration with um, Stephen King in there too. Yeah, that'd be great to watch. Yeah, so it's an anthology um, horror series, and I've heard great things about um, this one, uh, the first one anyway. I'm not sure about this one, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure there's some good reviews in there too, but um, yeah, it's more of a diehard horror fan thing with that. Um, but anyways, moving on. Next we got um, Zombie Flesh oh, Eaters. This is one of my favourite buys that you got. Um, so this what this is a Lu- Lu- Lucio Fulci. That's the one. Yeah, uh, I uh, oh, remember watching this on YouTube in like year eight, and the shark scene. Yeah, oh my, I, it's just awesome. Honestly, the whole thing. I haven't seen this one. I mean, I've mm. seen the shark scene, but I, I haven't gotten around. I don't, to oh, like, I don't blame you. It's so hard to find. Yeah, it's, and I'm, I'm very surprised yeah. I found this, and it's region B actually. So I thought that like that yeah. Was, it's yeah. another great Arrow release. Yeah. Artwork looks amazing. I think that artwork looks pretty yeah. cool. So. Can't wait to rewatch this. Yeah. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, let's get into this unboxing now. We'll, we'll get on to the um, Steelbook. was a really nice looking steel book yeah like a glossy and a matte finish and it's um the this little creature here is like looks like it's coming out what's yeah. that called uh, like almost like holographic yeah like lenticular almost but it's just like it's a transition between matte finish which is the background and then the glossy finish which is, which is the um things that are meant to stand out and then on the back same thing with the chainsaw and I, th- I think this is one of yeah. the best um, steel books that I've ever gotten. Um, yeah, so this is a 4K remaster with it, a 7.1 surround sound. Yeah, remaster. so like I'm pretty pretty keen to see how that so sounds and looks. Yeah, it's um I've got I own this on DVD and it's amazing to watch and it's really lo-fi. Yeah, I know. So I can't get that. To, there we go. So, so seeing this on the 4K, um, oh, it would just be amazing and hearing the screams of the. Yeah. The victims in the. We should go. Do, we should go watch that now. Actually, we might, yeah. we might dive into that one. Awesome but, find. Yeah, but um, anyways, uh, what what would you rate this um steel book out of ten? I give it a high nine. Yeah, I'd say one I'd of your best ones. Definitely give this a nine point uh, five. I rate your Victor Crowley one really high. Yeah, the hatchet. And I rate yeah. this one really high. Yeah, yeah. So, but my I think my all time favorite steel book. More has to do with the quality of the movie, but that, for me, I think would be The Joker. Very nice. Yeah, that was a nice steel book. Unfortunately, I did not have this channel going when I um, got that, but... Might have yeah. to buy another one for another unboxing, eh? Oh, possibly, but it is very rare now. I've oh, heard. true. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, like, we bought a, we I bought you a copy, yeah. and, um, that I bought myself, and it was, and like, 80 bucks. I've never seen so it again, yeah. Never seen it again in the stores, and um, now, and I looked it online, and it's already reached, like, $200 for a second hand, which there is ridiculous. Go, eh? Anyways, guys, um, cheers for watching my video. Th- a big thanks to Thomas for coming on the channel. And, um, yeah, um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.